Senator Patrick Leahy, DVT, the president pro tempore of the Senate as its most senior Democratic member, is expected to preside over President Donald Trump's impeachment trial instead of Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts, according to a Senate source not authorized to speak publicly. The President of the Senate, who is the Vice President or the President pro tempore in the Vice President's absence, presides over impeachment trials unless a sitting President is being impeached. The Supreme Court's Chief Justice presides over impeachment trials of a sitting President. Leahy's presiding over the trial means that Vice President Kamala Harris is unlikely to attend the impeachment trial. Some Republican senators have raised procedural objections to the impeachment of a former president. Senator Rand Paul, R. Key, said in a Sunday op-ed in the Hill newspaper that a trial without Roberts would be a charade and threatened to boycott the proceedings. Most Americans say they support the impeachment and Senate conviction of former President Donald Trump though the majority of Republicans still back him, according to a new poll by Monmouth University released Monday. 56% of those surveyed said they approve of the House of Representatives' move to impeach Trump, and 42% said they disapprove. The breakdown is highly partisan, with 92% of Democrats approving of the impeachment and 13% of Republicans approving. 52% of independents also said they supported the impeachment. Trump was impeached by the House on January 13 on one article of incitement of the deadly riot that stormed the Capitol building on January 6. 1010 Republicans voted yes. Most also thought Trump should be convicted by the Senate, and a majority also thought action should be taken to prevent Trump from holding future office. 52% said they want the Senate to convict, while 44% said they do not. Of those surveyed, 57% also thought Trump should be barred from holding an office in the future, while 41% did not. When survey respondents were informed that a measure to prevent him from holding office could only come after a conviction, the support for conviction in the Senate increased to 55%. The mob that breached the Capitol comprised Trump supporters who wrongly believed President Joe Biden had not legitimately won the 2020 presidential election, bolstered by weeks of Trump and his allies claiming without evidence that there was widespread voter fraud. The Monmouth poll found that roughly one-third of Americans still believed fraud was the cause of Trump's defeat, similar to findings in a November poll. 65% agreed Biden won the election, fair and square. Of the Republicans surveyed, 72% said they believe Biden won due to fraud. About 10% said they would never accept Biden as president despite that he was already sworn in. Monmouth conducted its poll January 21-24 by surveying 809 American adults who self-reported their political affiliation.